So we come outside, and over here, there is a couple little baby birdies. And the mama's not strong enough to get them back into the nest right there. But I'm thinking if I pull my van down here and put my ladder on top of the van, maybe that might work. So here we are, got the brand new leather gloves to try to keep the human scent away from the birdies. And I'm going to try to put them back into the nest. So I have one of the little birdies and I go to place him back into the nest. While putting him up there, I realize he's more like on top of the nest, not really in the nest. So I go to get a better look. Right about now is when I realized that that nest is full. The mama did not make a big enough nest. There's already two birdies in there and the other two birdies must have got pushed out. So it's time for us to go put them in an empty nest that's right around the corner. Take the little birdie back out of the nest because he was literally standing on top of the other two birdies in that nest. So I just picked him back up, very gently put him back into the bucket with his little buddy here. Here I am checking the empty nest to make sure that it is actually empty. And then I bring some nice moss over there to give it a nice lining so they have a kind of a fresh little nest for them to be in. Here goes birdie number two. So here's the nest that we ended up putting them in. It's right here. We can hear them, that's for sure. But as you see, there they are, still rocking. So, so far so good. So coming outside after some rain and wind had hit, I noticed that the original nest had fallen out of the tree. Wow, looks like their nest fell down. And there were still a birdie or two in that nest. So I start looking, and if you see right here, I see him. There's the birdie on the piece of grass. So update on the birds, we went outside and there was another one on the ground. The rain and some wind came, knocked their nest onto the ground. So I cleaned out that tin full of thing and put what was left of his nest in there and put him right below his brothers or sisters. They're still doing really good. So hopefully mama found where they are, but they're up and away from danger. And uh, yeah, we got 
two of them now. Google said to make a, a nest for him, so I just used his nest and use that as a support with some duct tape to make sure it's sturdy. So yeah, we gave him a better chance than just being on the ground in the middle of the yard, I think. Final little update. I think our uh, little nests and our little saving the birdies job worked because they were here and they were healthy and now they're gone. They were only here for a few days. So I just want to add before I end this video that I understand that, yeah, they may have been at the time where they want to jump out of the nest and try to be birdies on their own. But um, I'm not an animal person and we have dogs and coyotes and all these animals coming through our yard and they just, you know, could barely hop around. So I just felt like it was a little bit soon for them to be out of the nest. So like I said, we Googled it and we just did what we thought was best. Some of you guys may not think that that was the best option, but hey, they lived. And I think the tweeting in the background is them right now. So uh, end of the story is, I think we did the right thing, but either way they lived and they're happy, healthy birdies. So. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to join me on more of my videos, please like and subscribe, share the video if you want, and have a great day.